Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to change the blade on this DeWalt circular saw. So what I like to do is, well, first of all, make sure your saw is unplugged so you do not accidentally chop your finger off um, or gouge yourself. And so what I like to do is adjust my saw to where it's all the way up out of the riser. So you know if you've used this saw, you can adjust the height depending on the depth of what you're cutting by using this right here. So I loosen that and slide it all the way up so my blade is all above this piece. Um, again, my saw is unplugged. Then you're gonna slide this back so it's out of your way. You can hold this back. One little tip I was thinking that if you're having a hard time holding this while you're working on it, you don't have to, but you could take a clamp and clamp that out of the way. So I show, I'll show you how you would do that. This top side is stable and this on my clamp has a little bit of a pivot. So I think I like the idea of having the stability on that little piece at the top. So I'm gonna go like that. Okay, so definitely not necessary, but if you did want to hold it open like that so it was easier for you to work on, that's definitely something that you could do. Now, I'm going to turn this angle around to show you. If you just started trying to loosen this nut, say I had my crescent wrench or my channel lock here, and I started to turn it, my blade would move, right? So, you have to go right here, and when you push this in, it prevents your blade from moving. So now I can't film because I only have one hand. I'll show you from the other side. Now I'm pushing that button I just showed you over here. My blade doesn't move. So if I go ahead and I grab this to loosen it and I have that button depressed, then my blade is not going to move. That's locking it in place. Then I'm just gonna loosen. So lefty loose, righty tidy. I'm still holding this button back here as I work. I'm gonna take this off. I always lay everything when I take it off in the position I took it off so I don't have to remember. So I'm gonna let go of this button back here because I'm not turning anything. I'm just gonna slide that screw through there, bolt through there, because that goes on. And then we're gonna slide our blade off. And I'm gonna put my replacement blade on. You can use any blade that you want. I can give you a couple links on Amazon, but here's the blade that I'm getting and it's, usually gonna have an arrow on your blade. So it has an arrow, and then there's usually an arrow on your saw just to make sure those match up if you get a little bit mixed up. You're gonna slide that on. <clears throat> now remember, this little nut went on first. If you look at it, it has a flat part on the top and the bottom in two curves. So just line the flat part up with the flat part and get it in there nice and tight. And then we're gonna hand tighten our bolt at first. Tighten it the rest of the way. Again, if I grab this and turn, it's going to, well, I'll even show you with my hand, it's going to move that blade, right? And so I'm going to depress this button back here again that prevents my saw from moving. Make sure you have it down enough to lock. So I have my, lo I have my locked button depressed back here for my blade. And sometimes it's easier also to reach under like that but just make sure that you don't um, catch your knuckles on that blade. You could wear gloves if you wanted to. Tighten it. When you want it nice and tight. You want to make sure you don't have any wobble in your blade, but also you don't want to screw yourself up so bad that next time you go to loosen this, that you're going to have a really nightmarish time. So I'm probably going to depress this button back here and do one more tightness little torque just to make myself feel better. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about that now. So now I'm going to just hold my, my sleeve right here. I'm going to loosen this guy. And again, if you don't have this clamp, you could have done this the whole way. You could have just held this like this while you're with your hand, like this little piece. You could have held it while you did everything. But it's kind of nice not to be not to have to hold it. Um, that that makes it a little bit easier. So now we have our fresh blade on, and we're ready to go make easier cuts um, on your Dewalt circular saw. Good luck. See ya.